Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by New England Federal Credit Union. My name's Ava Solberger. We are here in Williston at Detail Works. This is a full service car detailing shop. It's an enterprise of Spectrum Youth and Family Services. You're gonna love it though. It's gonna be nice and clean. Well, this is my first job, so no, I've never had a, another job. We're going to spend the afternoon with 19-year-old Jasmine Wood. She's worked at Detail Works for one year, which is about how long the business has been around. Before, you know, I was lost, didn't really know what kind of job I'd find. I didn't know if I would even find a job because of dropping out of high school and just only having my GED. Without Detail Works, I don't really know where I'd be. We've had a lot of youth that have come in with not a lot of job experience. What we like to focus on in the beginning is, is things like attitude and attendance. So simply just showing up to work, learning how to communicate with a supervisor, learning how to communicate with teammates. It does take a little bit to you know, get used to working, get used to schedules, getting used to, you know, showing up every day. And this job has really helped me with work skills, life skills, and responsibilities, you know, living on your own, earning your own money, managing money. I just want to be successful and, you know, be able to live on my own. Detail Works started as an idea that Spectrum, our leadership, and the board of directors came up with a couple of years ago after visiting a social enterprise conference. So the idea is to kind of supplement and complement the wraparound services that Spectrum provides to young folks in the area. Things like residential basic needs at the drop-in center, counseling, YDP, multicultural youth center. So umbrella of services that would help support young people growing to become more self-sufficient and feeling like the community is, is backing them. I grew up in Bradford, so, you know, I had to move out and find my way. I definitely got a lot from my parents. Um, they've always been there. They, you know, support me no matter what. School is always an option, but it's not for me, so I always just wanted to work. Responsibilities here are definitely a lot, a lot to take on, but I enjoy it. It's, it's a challenge. Yeah! <laughs> So Jasmine was just different from, from the beginning, and so we started playing with the idea of offering more hours to select youth that have kind of, you know, demonstrated that they could be self-sufficient, go above and beyond in, in terms of quality of product. And Jasmine was really the first one where I could say, can you just man the shop? And so she would work with our lead detailer and, and take over the shop while I was gone. It's scary, but it's, it's really nice to be on my own and make my own decisions and earn money and buy the things I want, but also save. Saving is really important. I mean, I think you grow the more responsibility you take on and that's a natural part of maturing as an adult and as a young person. Jasmine in particular owned the responsibility. She showed a certain level of independence which made us trust her. So some of the things that, that our youth are facing are homelessness, lack of consistent meals, transportation, post-traumatic stress, things that day-to-day -day make it hard to kind of focus on growth and focus on something as simple as, as showing up for a job. Yeah, I came into this program uh, mainly just looking for a job, but I also ended up in the counseling program and uh, the housing at one point as well and the jobs program. It's got an awesome community of people and they are really out to help and they do. They do help. They help me. So I'm really thankful for everything, you know, Spectrum's done for me. It's always nice to see, you know, young people that you put time and energy in trying to help navigate their, their life and growth and development, kind of take ownership of that and, and succeed. You know, I love everybody here. They're so supportive and really just make my day bright. We all understand each other and yeah some days are tough we drive each other crazy but it makes us stronger as a team. Clean your car and make your community a better place. It's a twofer. We'll get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, sign up for our weekly email alert. My car's so dirty. <laughs> Don't tell. <laughs> well I know personally cleaning your car is not easy. Um, I always try to keep my car, my car clean and I do clean it here when I get the chance, 
but yeah, I don't blame anyone for bringing their car in. Uh, it does really feel amazing when it's clean, um, and it just gives you a whole new start.